I'm gonna take her side because y'all are playing playing favoritism and I'm not here I'm not afraid of your green screen. I promise you I'm not. I'm not here to play favoritism. I don't do the social media stuff. When I come back online, it's the only time. Bro, you're being weird, bro. Like to put on a green screen. You're being weird. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. Let me tell y'all something. Y'all all don't see wrong with no Raleigh. Y'all are more delusional than she is. is and that's a fact. You? I'm not here for favoritism. When I come back online and I show my face, I bet you Norali is going to want to be back with me. Because she won't be able to take that heat. She won't be able to take that heat. They're, they're not good females, I promise you. I, don't, I wouldn't see a minute with them. They're just for fun to me. They might think that I'm something to them. I promise you they're fine. There's nobody else like my baby mama. Why? Because you're a baby mother. I would never have kids with nobody else. Why? Because I wouldn't have babies with a woman I don't think is a good mother. You are a great woman, a great mother. I love you. You get what I'm saying? But I have problems. I got issues, mommy. I can't sit here and be this person to you. Why? Mommy, because I'm not okay, mommy. That's why. You want me to sit here and be um, so Superman. Sick. You You're want me so to be you want me to be a Superman. I love you. But it's just not, it's not, it does not, it's not big enough to stop what I'm doing and sit in the house. You sit in the house like a mouse. You a good girl. I understand that. But me, nah, mommy. It don't work like that. I, I don't, I don't want to be with you, you but can't nobody else have you, and that's the fact. That's a fact. I don't want anyone else to so don't sit here and, like, try to, like, glorify I know, me. I know you don't want no one else, and that's why. You're a great woman. You're a great mother. You're a great everything, and one day... You are, if I'm going to propose to you and we're going to get married and we're going to, we're going to have this beautiful family. Just unfortunately, right now, we're just not seeing eye to eye. You get what I'm what? saying? Because a lot of y'all are going to take her side because y'all are playing. Play it's love bombing, right? I have to let you know that I still love you and care about you for, for you to continue to be a good, solid female. You are a very good female. I'm not going to give that up. So I keep you in the mix of my entertainment and my BS. At the end of the day, to tell me that I'm going to come home and settle down with you is crazy work. I would never do that. I'm not ready for that. I'm not taking no part in that. Do I love you? I love you very much. But it's not enough. It's not, a, it's not strong enough to stop what I'm doing and come treat you like the queen that you should be. But I will never allow somebody else to treat you like a queen because you're mine. Do you want to be with anybody else? Just answer that question. No, I already said that. No. <clears throat> my point exactly. You're mine at the end of the day. Like somebody says, it's love. So sit out here and cry. And when you're ready to come to your senses, knock on the door. Conversate with me. You know? You think I want to be here with you on a Friday night? I like when you're like this over me. Because I can do what I want. And you can do. Be in the house. With our family. Okay? So sit here and think about the things you've done. The problems you've caused our family. I have no words for you. That's why I'm staying so quiet. You've caused problems no to our family. I have no words for you. I'm speechless with what's coming out of your mouth. I'm being that honest. You're hurting, you're, like, what more of what more can you hurt me for? I can't hurt you. You've no, hurt no, me no, enough. No. You've hurt me enough. You, you've hurt, you don't deserve me. So sit out here and cry. And when you're ready to come to your senses, knock on the door. Conversate with me. You know, you think I want to be here with you on a Friday night? I like when you're like this over me because I can do what I want and you can do be in the house with our family. Okay, so sit here and think about the things you've done, the problems you've caused our family. I have no words for you. That's why I'm staying so quiet. You've caused problems no to our family. I have no words for you. I'm speechless with what's coming out of your mouth. I'm being that honest. You're like what more of what more can you hurt me for? I can't hurt you. You've no, hurt no, me no. enough. No. You've hurt me enough. You you've hurt you don't deserve me. You need help. You need help. And you wonder why I don't want the kids around you. I don't trust you. Nothing that comes out of your mouth is the truth. You're a liar. You do have kids and you have other women with their kids at that around my kids. I have a video of you. Okay.
All I'm saying is, I'm a good person. I treat you with respect. I treat you with love. I pay for everything. Show me the groceries in your house from 4th of July. I paid the maid off today. I sold her the money. I paid her $500. Show me the groceries. Wow, congratulations. You did. So your 4th of July is good. Show them everything. Just turn your camera around. I can't. You're lagging. I can't see you. So my kids have a good 4th of July. Look what my baby mama got. I ordered her everything. Hey, your groceries is outside, by the way. You're, you need help. 